Hi, welcome to Ramco TV. My name is Brad Vori, and I'm one of the automation specialists for Ramco. This is part two of our demonstration on Emerson's family of servos. Last time we discussed the hardware and the features of the Epsilon, Digitex, and Unidrive SP. Today, I would like to give you a tour of the extremely intuitive programming software, PowerTools Pro. Let's take a look. Here's a look at PowerTools Pro. On the left hand side is my menu tree. Here's where I do everything from the motor setup, setting up my I.O., motion profiles, and more. So for this example, to set up my demo unit, I'm going to choose motor. On the top is my catalog of all the Emerson motors that are currently available. Most of these are pretty well set from the factory, however I still recommend doing an auto-tune. If you have a third-party motor, you can choose auto-tune and it'll help tune that motor specifically to that drive. For this, I'm going to choose XV604. Next, I want to show you user units. Here's where you can set up, let's say you have a gearbox. And you can choose how many motor rotations are per output shaft of the gearbox. Makes it pretty easy for setting up the rest of your motion profiles. First thing I'm going to do is set up my jog. So for the jog, I'm going to choose a velocity of 200 with an acceleration of 150 and decel of 150. As you can see, it actually already calculated my time and how long it's going to take. Makes it pretty nice um, for seeing how this is actually going to operate. Next thing, I'm going to set up my home. This example, I've chosen a velocity of negative 50 with an excel and decel of 50. Then I also want this to home out from my sensor and then to my marker for a little more precise home. Next, I want to set up an index. I'm going to choose an index distance of 200 revs, and let's go with a velocity of 1000, with an excel of 500 and decel of 500. One of my favorite features is the, local, the uh, graphical representation down below. It shows actually how long it's going to take and how many reps. So it makes it pretty easy to understand without actually having to try to do it. Next thing I want to do is my I.O. setup. Here's where I can assign the inputs that are wired to my drive to how this thing is going to operate. So first thing I want to do is set up my jog. So I'm going to simply say I want the first switch to jog at plus. Drag and drop that over, and then let's do a minus jog as well. Then I want to initiate, let's say, my home. Assign that to number three, and then just to simulate the uh, homing switch, let's assign that to input number four. And then finally, we need to assign to something to initiate the index. Drag that one over to input number five. Okay, now that inputs are assigned, we're ready to download this and give it a try. We'll go to device and download. We'll look for the drive and it should download. Now that we've downloaded, now we're, you can see we're online. I give my actual, I can get a signal saying we're connected and my actual position feedback. So if I want to try this out before anything is wired, I can do that. So to try that out, I'm going to first flood jog and hit the arrow buttons left and right. Now as you can see, based on my position feedback, I'm actually moving. I can try out my home, Let's hit the start button, and then I'm just going to simulate, turn on input number three, and it homed out. Now let's try out my index. So without inputs in wired at all, I can try this out. You want to see the status of the inputs, click on your inputs, and these boxes will actually um, highlight green when the inputs are on. So let's go ahead and try the inputs now and see how well this thing works. 
Okay, now that the drive is programmed, let's see if this works. First thing I'm gonna do is try and jog, hit the first input that I've programmed, going in forward direction and reverse. Okay, homing sequence. Simulate the uh, proc switch, back to the marker, and now finally an index. As you can see, the programming to drive is pretty simple. This was just a basic application, but these drives can do even more advanced profiles like gearing, camming, and even go into torque mode. As you've just seen, Emerson servos are user-friendly and can accommodate almost any application. If you're ever interested in learning more, feel free to contact us as we'd be happy to help. We can assist you with everything from sizing a servo to assisting with selection of the right servo for you, as well as training. Thanks for joining me and be safe out there.